Hi, everybody. My name is Alex Javrankov, and I'm the founder and CEO of a company called In Silico Medicine. I firmly believe that AI-powered drug discovery is probably the most important area of human development today. Over the past 20 years, we've seen every area of our life being transformed beyond recognition uh, by advances in, uh, in many areas of science and technology. So today we can get uh, fresh fruit around the clock, around the year. We can go from point A to point B very quickly. We can communicate with each other uh, on a completely new level. And we can um, uh, get many substantial entertainment options at very low price. However, when it comes to human health, we did not see many dramatic advances. Uh, we see only very marginal improvements. And over the uh, past uh, year, uh, in 2021, uh, we've seen only about 50 drugs being approved by the FDA. Uh, and I consider about 10 of them to be novel, and none of them were completely curative. Uh, so in uh, my opinion, what we need to do currently is to focus on um, uh, figuring out how to accelerate the uh, drug discovery and development process, how to make it cheaper, and how to increase the probability of success. Because for those of you who are not familiar with drug discovery and development, the process of uh, discovery and de development of one drug takes about 12 years on average from target discovery all the way to approval. It costs about $2 billion and fails over 90% of the time. So this is a very expensive molecular casino where you uh, lose much more often than you win. So in 2014, we decided to go on a quest to develop a platform utilizing artificial intelligence advances in a specific area of artificial intelligence called deep learning and deep generative reinforcement learning um, in order to accelerate drug discovery and development and cost it down. So we started by developing a platform called Pharma AI, which took us a lot of money and effort to build. It consists of three elements. One allows you to discover novel targets for a variety of diseases. It's called Pandaomics. Another platform allows you to very rapidly generate novel chemistry, novel molecules with the desired properties in order to prosecute those protein targets very quickly. And we have another platform called Inclinica, which predicts the outcomes of clinical trials to improve the probability of success of those trials and ensure that we do not go after indications that are much more likely to fail than to succeed. So we've tested this platform uh, with many, many industry players. So right now, there is a huge community utilizing those tools. Uh, and around 2020, we decided to go and try to develop a drug ourselves utilizing uh, this AI platform and also the power of many contract research organizations that we can contract to perform uh, laboratory experiments. And us, uh, predominantly AI guys uh, uh, and AI gals, uh, who are specializing specifically in computer science and algorithms, we decided to go on this quest without having substantial experience in drug discovery and development and we decided to make a documentary video ourselves to document uh, uh, every step we take in order to discover a drug. Uh, and uh, we started producing a lot of footage. Uh, we actually thought that we were gonna fail within probably six months into the process, but then we realized that AI is so good that we are progressing much faster than a traditional paradigm, and also we're not failing. Uh, and we continued for the first 18 months, nominated the preclinical candidate, which is a very important milestone on drug discovery, where you have to prove efficacy of your uh, novel molecule in a variety of animal models uh, and, of, uh, and human cell models. And we we're like, yeah, great, uh, fantastic. And we continued. Uh, then we got into phase um, zero human clinical trials, so we decided to make a small uh, human clinical trial with eight uh, healthy volunteers in Australia and no negative results, so which is great, positive, so we did not see any um, unexpected toxicity issues, we understood the target distribution, and then we decided to go into phase one clinical trials uh, in humans uh, and decided to go into a very expanded safety trial uh, right now, we're completing that trial, and at every step of the way, we were documenting this process 
uh, with very different uh, documentary teams. Uh, we were documenting ourselves as well, utilizing different equipment types. And then we decided not to make the uh, documentary ourselves, but to offer it to a variety of teams out there to cut it the way they like it uh, and to tell uh, our story utilizing different approaches. So that's why we decided to come up with this docuthon, documentary hackathon. I think that it's the first of its kind where we're offering an abundant amount of high quality footage shot over the past two years, actually three years, uh, and uh, available to the qualified teams that will cut it, produce the short uh, uh, version of the documentary and the long version of the documentary, and then those documentaries will be evaluated by a professional panel of judges uh, and get the prizes for those that uh, deserve the prizes. Also, there may be additional perks. Uh, you might be able to present your documentaries at uh, movie festivals and also showcase your work to professionals that might recognize the value and uh, uh, that could be a really nice Kickstarter for a career. And uh, in the very minimum, you are going to learn about how drugs are discovered and developed. I spent over 10 years in this industry in pharma and I still don't understand every intricate uh, aspect of this industry. And I can tell you for sure that people who specialize in a specific area of drug discovery and development, they don't know the entire process. So it's very rare to be able to document it from beginning to the end. And you have a chance to tell a story, to learn about this process, and to also contribute uh, to the general health care of the population because you might be able to inspire and motivate the young people who are currently uh, formulating their careers and are thinking about what to do. Uh, and I think, again, this is the most important area of human uh, development. I dedicated my entire life to it. And I, uh, I would really like to see more people who have the same level of dedication and passion going into this industry and also utilizing our tools, working with us, or even competing with us. Because in this game, nobody is a competitor. We're all working towards the same goal and uh, uh, want to make people to live longer uh, and healthier lives. Please join the Docuthon and also tell your friends about it. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great Docuthon.